it can be easy just to spend the entire match up here, actually, until you run out of ammo. Well, I got some more ammo, but we're going to head down anyways. That was kind of a fluke headshot there. The sniper rifle in this first Unreal Tournament game was pretty, pretty hacked. I mean, it's very, very powerful and it's semi-automatic, like it's almost rapid fire. So they definitely fixed that and slowed down the rate of fire in the next few Unreal Tournament games. Uh, but hey, milk it while you can. Use it in this one because it's a great, it's a great gun. Alright, now despite all my awesome headshots, I am still in second place, so I need to pick up my game here a little bit. Sometimes I just charge up rockets and turn a corner, and sometimes I get lucky and somebody's standing there. Gonna need to get some more ammo, though. Six rockets was probably a bit of overkill, but whatever. Okay, now I'm in first place. I'm holding on okay. Uh, this map is tough, though. Because it is so big, it's easy to lose track of everybody who's in it sometimes, and you might not see anybody for a little while since there's so many different places you can go. Alright, we're going to check out one of the other interesting things of this level, is right on this beam right here, there's a few things to pick up, and <laughs> usually there's a shield belt right there. Oh, shit. Don't stand still, you'll get rockets in the face. That's where the shield belt is. Alright, Enforcer versus guy with shield belt and rocket launcher. This is a losing battle, so I am going to run. That was lucky. That wasn't. And the Redeemer is gone. The frustrating thing with the Redeemer is uh, when you're playing a bot match, a lot of the time they'll come up here and camp or they'll just come up here because they know the exact timing of when it regenerates and um, they'll steal it and they won't use it. They'll just they'll switch weapons as soon as they have it and then the Redeemer won't go off, which I mean I guess is good for everybody because then they're not getting any kills. But it's it's frustrating if you're trying to get it and you just never even see it. Oh, that was, that was close. Usually if you fire off the Redeemer, you'll get at least one person. The blast radius is huge, and, uh, you know, chances... It's in your favor, definitely, when you fire it off. <laughs> 